look, this is what was happening. When Jesus Christ was offered as a bread of this world, he was given as a lamb to wash away our sins with his blood. He was came as a light to lightening against all the darkness. And when the leaders and the Pharisees have seen the light, they were against it because they get used to the darkness. They were refusing the light because they used to be more comfortable in darkness. They used to do their wicked, evil work in darkness and nobody has seen them. Nobody knew what they are doing. Nobody knew what is happening for their own fresh satisfaction. They used to worship the darkness before the light. And this was an insult to them, for them to see the light coming in their midst, so that even those who are not part of them, they will see what they are doing before the light. They realize that all their things, all their powers that they have been trusting and worshiping, if they accept the light, it's going to be destroyed. I don't know if you are a part of this group who want to crucify Jesus Christ because they do not believe that they are sinners. They are refusing that they are sinners. They are refusing salvation. They are big in ignorance of the truth. They are hesitating the light, the truth, the righteousness, the power of God. Mm, if you look at the way, the time when they come to arrest Jesus Christ, The Apostle Paul cut one of men, a man, Ma Apostle Matthew, cut one of a man in his ear and fall down. Apostle Peter. The Apostle Peter cut one of the men in his ear and it fell down. But still, Jesus Christ picked it up and he put it back as a miracle to show them the power of God. But yet they don't want to see the miracle because they are ignorance. Number one, they are judging Jesus Christ where he came from. Number two, they are judging his parents. Who are they? They were nobody in the society. They were, they were no name in the society. They were poor, I mean, in the society. They were not recognized. And he was not educated. This is what they were looking at. The fiscal achievement, world achievement, world worthy, world appreciation, world materials. If you still continue to sin, your work speaks louder than your words. Even though you keep on confessing that you know Jesus Christ, yet you are sinning. You confess that you are a Christian, yet you are sinning. 
you confess that you are uh, you, are, you, are, you know the Bible, you study the Bible, yet you are sinning. It's useless. It's useless. Because you are not what the Bible says you are. You are still forcing Jesus Christ to be crucified. You are still part of the men who are crucifying Jesus Christ. This is why you are still suffering. This is why the grace, the favor, and mercy that was came from the cross when we were crucified with Jesus Christ, when we were raised from the dead with Jesus Christ, we raised with the goodness, we raised with blessing, we raised with more that you are looking for today. When we die with Jesus Christ, we die on the cross. We die with him. Because of our sins, they were crucified. Because we were sinners, means the sinner was of, of, of part of us. That body was crucified and you receive a new body. That body that was not worthy to glorify God was left on the cavalry. Then you receive a body that is worthy to follow Jesus Christ. The body that was worthy to communicate with Jesus Christ. The body was worthy to be known in the spirit with Christ. One with Christ. Connected to Christ. Fellowship with Christ. Walking with Christ. Living with Christ. Following Christ. Believing in Christ. This is how we are now. And this is why we cannot accommodate sickness. This is why you cannot accommodate Jesus. This is why we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because we are the gospel. We are no longer sinners. We are no longer the Pharisees. We are the family of Christ. We hate sin like Christ. We run away from sin like Christ. We overcome sickness. We overcome diseases. We overcome pain. We overcome bacteria. It does not mean that when you are a child of God, born again, believe in Christ, doing what Christ says you must do, doing the word of Jesus Christ, you will not be attacked by sickness. And it's not a sin when sickness is attacking you. It's not a sin when... A, Pain is attacking you, but it's a sin when you are accommodating them. When Jesus Christ died on the cross, he expecting you to come back and say, I'm no longer a sinner. I'm no longer a slave of sin. I'm no longer a slave of Satan. I'm no longer a slave of my flesh. I'm no longer worshipping my flesh. But worshipping what Jesus Christ says. Worshipping the word of God. Worshipping the spirit of Christ in me. If you were a drunkard, then you met Christ. Then drunkard, drunkness shall be sacrificed, crucified. If you were a fornicator, then you met Jesus Christ. Fornication shall be crucified. If you were a criminal, all the evil ways, evil work shall be crucified on the cross of Calvary. If you are a liar, if you are a daughter, all this work of evil, of Satan, shall be crucified. Then you become a new person, doing what Jesus Christ said you should do. Living the natural life, living the life of Christ, following Christ, understanding Christ, be connected to Christ, be a friend of Christ, being one in a mentality, developing crass mentality, crass wisdom, crass understanding, crass desire, crass plans, crass freedom, crass love, crass lifestyle, because you are no longer an old person. Because you are no longer a slave of suffering, a slave.
slave of poverty, a slave of pain and sicknesses and diseases, a slave of fear, no longer part of you. Because when you met Christ, he gave you his nature. Christ gave you his presence. Christ gave you everything about him. He gave you his own life. So that you live his life like him. So that you understand better like him. This is the life that Jesus Christ has brought us on this world. So that we understand the world. And the world will not defeat us, but to defeat the world. To live above every attack, every circumstance in the world. To study the world and understand it, and they know how to handle it. So that the pain and the suffering of this world will no longer defeat us. No longer troubling us. Will no longer stealing away everything that belongs to us.